Hello and welcome back to Stormforce Fitness. I'm John Latoc and this video is to help you get clear in your mind exactly what you want to achieve. You've obviously come to our website or you've got to know us somewhere along the line. I'm not quite sure why, but thank you for doing so. The reason you will have done so is because you have some idea in your mind of a goal that you want to achieve. The problem is that a lot of people think they have goals, they think they know what they want to achieve, but they never get there because it just doesn't inspire them enough. A problem most people have is relying on motivation too much. And we see this on January the 1st, everybody's suddenly motivated. I'm going to go to the gym three times a week. I'm going to go to aerobics. I'm going to eat better. And how long does it last? Most people, maybe two weeks, probably at best. I know a lot of people, two or three days and, and they give up. And the reason for that is because they don't understand the goals from a, a deeper, more kind of emotional base. Most goals will be described as, I want to lose weight and tone up. And it's, it's a pretty nondescript goal. For instance, if you just want to lose weight, I could get you to lose weight in about an hour. You know, just have a really good sweat, put you back on the scales, and you're going to be a couple of pounds later. Does that mean you've achieved your goal? Well, obviously not. Even if we'd said, I want to lose two stone. It's better, we've got a, more of a target, but then do you really know what you're going to look like? if you're two stone lighter. Sometimes we have a figure in our head just because that's what everybody does. Oh, somebody else lost two stone, so I want to lose two stone. What we need to do is get deeper and deeper into what the goal is and what it means to you. And even if we get deeper to the point of saying, I want to lose two stone because it then means I'm a size 10, great. You want to do it by Christmas Day, even better. But do you understand why? If you don't understand why exactly you want to do that, and it doesn't really resonate with you as a person, then it's just not going to keep you going on those days when it becomes difficult. And I'm not going to lie to you, these kind of things aren't easy. We all have bad days, we're tired sometimes, we don't want to go to the gym, we've had a crappy day at work. These things happen. But they will only knock you down if you don't understand and, like I say, really resonate with the goal you're trying to achieve. So all we're going to do in this video is take you through, very briefly, through the kind of blueprint that we use to help you get what you want. So we call it the get what you want blueprint. It's pretty simple. We're starting with the mission. Now, the mission isn't trying to land on the moon or anything like that. It's just understanding what you really want to do in life and how you really want to feel. Because getting into a little black dress, size 10 dress, great, that's a good goal. But you want to do it for a reason. And understanding that reason is very powerful in keeping you going. It might be you want to look great in that dress at the Christmas party because you either want to have more confidence and then you have the confidence to go and speak to one of the directors and talk about a promotion and what you want to do in the business and that will help you earn more money so you can go travelling more, etc, etc. That is the mission, but most people never get to that stage. They get to the point of, oh, I want to get into that dress I saw in the shop. Their subconscious brain knows why they want to do it, but until you put it in your conscious brain and you're constantly seeing it every day, it's never really going to have that big an impact on you. Your mission might be something completely different. It might not be just looking better. It might be that you want to be the, you want to, your grandchildren to, to grow up to be really successful and play their part in changing the world. You want to give them the opportunities. So your mission is obviously to bring them up in such a way that they're able to do that. So I can't give you the answers. I don't have the answers as to what your mission should be. That's something you need to spend time thinking about and don't just copy what other people are doing. Your mission might be sports related. It might be, for instance, at the moment myself, one of my missions is to show people that they can go from having never done something to doing it at a, at a high level. So I'm using Muay Thai, which is a, a form of Thai kickboxing. I've never done it before. So the aim is to go from where I am now to actually winning a competitive fight and I'm going to document all the things along the way. The mission is to inspire other people to do the same. And I'm sure you might be listening to this again, I don't want to do kickboxing, I've got no interest. That's fine, and that's, it's not a problem for me, it's not a problem for you, because it's my mission. And that's what I want you to do, is just think about what exactly is your mission in life generally, and then kind of breaking it down to the, the more kind of the, the fitness components and what you need your body to be able to do. So as part of that, we need to know what is your identity in this mission. So if we go back to your grandchildren, the mission is for them to be able to grow up and be confident people and have the, the confidence and the ambition to go and do big things in the world. So what is your identity? Your identity might be that you need 
the strength and you need the energy and you need to live longer so you've got enough time to kind of coach them along the way and help them and spend time with them and have the energy to, to run around with them and bring them up as a certain kind of person. So what is your identity in the mission? We said about my mission with the, the Muay Thai, the mission was to show people that they can do this, they can go from nothing to a high level. My identity is to be the messenger and almost be the guinea pig and show them that this is where I was, this is where I am now. Okay, so we've got the mission and then we've got our identity. So if we're thinking more from the weight loss point of view, your mission may be to be at the top of your profession so you, or you want to be the top guy or the top girl in the business you work for. So if that's your mission and the mission is to, why do you want to do that? Why do you want to be the top person in your company? Is it because you want to change the way things are done in the industry? You know, you can just keep branching out with this and obviously I can't go over all the different types of missions. But once you know the mission, you then know what role you're going to play in this. So once you know your role in all this, you need to decide what are your beliefs and values surrounding this. So if we, if we narrow this down to more a, we'll take the little black dress option. I want to be really confident so I can get my point across when I'm at work because I know that what I believe in, what I stand for, the knowledge I have, that's going to help change things for the better. So what are your beliefs as part of your identity? Do you believe that you need to be fit and you need to be healthy and you need to be happy? If you believe that those are three key components in your identity, then it gives us another step to work with. How do we need to shape your life? How do we need to shape your lifestyle to enable you to show those beliefs and values and live them out? Because most people don't they don't really have any idea about their beliefs and values and those that do often try and hide them because they feel like because they don't conform with other people they shouldn't do it, they shouldn't make these things known. So we've got the mission, we've got the identity, what role do you play in that mission and then we need just a small list, maybe five to ten of the beliefs and values that form that identity because you need to make sure that you live by those beliefs and values all the time. If you don't then you're not going to be playing the role that you've identified and the mission's never going to get completed. Okay, so we need to be clear about what the, the beliefs and values are. And now we start getting down to the level of what we're going to do in personal training and what you're going to, what you're actually able to do with your body. But hopefully you can see that if we just went straight in at this level without understanding the top three, then it's never really going to happen. We don't know what skills, we don't know what capabilities you need. So if we go, let's go with our sports example, we've identified that the mission is to raise a million pounds for charity by running marathons. So we know what the mission is, we know the identity is, well you're going to be the marathon runner and the, maybe the fundraiser, or you could get someone else to do it. You know your identity, your beliefs and values are that you need to be running four to five times a week, you need to be um, mentally strong, you need to believe that you can get up at five o'clock in the morning. Uh, you need to eat properly, etc, etc. So now we need to look at what skills and capabilities do you need. And this is where we're really going to come in. If you come and say to us, well, look, I need to be able to run a marathon in X amount of time, or I just need to be able to complete a marathon every week for a year, whatever it is you decide. Again, I'm not trying to give you answers here. I'm trying to give you questions. So what skills and capabilities do you need? Because from here, we can start saying, right, well, you need to do this in your training, we need to have hit this target by this date and then break it down, so this is what you need to do in six months, in five months, four months, three months, two, one month, two weeks, one week, this is what you need to do today, you can really start breaking these, these things down, but if we don't know all of the stuff at the top, we don't know what skills and capabilities you need, therefore we can't really give you a decent program, and this is where a lot of typical gyms kind of fall short, they'll just give you a, a standard weight loss program for instance or a standard running program. But if you don't really know what the overall mission is, it's just not going to resonate with you. You don't really know why you're doing it. So when you've got a, a tough workout that feels pretty horrible to complete, you're not going to do it because you just you, your mind's not tuned into you as that person. When you truly believe that you are a marathon runner, even if you're not at the moment and you can't complete a marathon yet, if you believe that that is your identity, then you're going to be much more likely to stick to the the tough stuff that has to be done to develop those skills.
We then need to understand the behaviour. So we've said, well, these are the skills we need in terms of being able to run this amount and lift this amount of weight and have this amount of core strength. Then we can start looking at the behaviours. So that's where we can say to you, right, well, you need to be doing three strength sessions a week. You need to be doing three runs a week. Uh, you need to be getting up at five o'clock and doing your stretching. You need to be eating this six days a week and you can have one day where you can be a little bit off on your diet. Again, we can't really understand what behaviours are needed until we understand the stuff at the top. So if you come and say to me, like a lot of people do, they send me messages on Facebook or emails, hi John, can you tell me how I should be eating? Can you tell me what to do in the gym? And when I say no, they're kind of like, well, I heard you were the best guy to speak to. I'm like, well, I might be if I know why we're doing it. If I know what your overall mission is, if I know how you perceive yourself and I know what role you're playing in the mission, then we can start looking at the other stuff. But there are, yes, there's obviously principles and a lot of behaviours that everybody should be doing if they want to be fit and healthy and strong. But then there's also lots of other tweaks and depending on what your mission is, it's going to be very different. For instance, if you want to be a world champion powerlifter compared to uh, someone who just wants to complete the, uh, the race for life for 5k, it's going to be very different behaviours. You have to eat differently. The training is going to be very different. We don't, we cannot possibly understand what behaviours are needed until we understand the first four in that list. And finally, this is a really important thing. This is where you have to essentially do a stock take of your life at the moment and look at your environment. And your environment is every single thing that surrounds you. It's where you're living. It's who you're hanging out with when you're going out, say, on a Friday or Saturday night. It's the people that are around you at work. It's the things you allow yourself to listen to, the things you allow yourself to read. And an important point there is looking at your reactions as well. If you know that you're fairly weak of mind and you don't have a lot of mental strength at the moment, then if you're surrounded by people who are eating crappy food, always going out drinking, staying up late, then the chances are you're going to end up like those people. The fact is humans are like sponges, we kind of soak up whatever is around us. So you need to look at the people you're, you're spending time with, the things you're reading and listening to, when you're watching the news and filling yourself with loads of negative stuff, letting people tell you that, oh, nobody can run a marathon every week for a year, you know, if that happens to be your mission. You need to look at every last detail of your environment and start changing it in a way that just pushes you and that you're, you're surrounded by the people that believe in you, the people who want you to be a success. You need to be reading things like rather than reading a newspaper that fills you full of negative stuff, why not read a more of a philosophy book in the morning that tells you that you can do anything you want and helps you shape the behaviours? Often it's not massive changes, you just need to make simple little changes that change what you're soaking up. Okay, so that's a very kind of quick look at this get what you want blueprint, but hopefully you can see how it's a process and it's not just a case of saying, I want to lose weight and tone up. You need to do what we call peeling the onion, where the outer layer of the onion is essentially saying, I want to lose weight and tone up. And we keep peeling the onion deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper until we get to the core, which is effectively the mission. What is your real mission? What are you really wanting to achieve? What is going to make you happy? Then we break down the identity, what your role is in the mission, what beliefs and values that identity needs to have and what do you need to exhibit on a daily basis? What skills and capab capabilities do you need? Obviously, in the context we're talking about here, that's where we'll come in and we'll say to you, you need to be able to do this and do that and be capable of doing this. We know what you need to develop. We'll also talk to you about behaviours from a nutritional perspective, say doing stretching every day, uh, what training you need to do, whether you need to be doing any extra running or whatever else on your own. That's the behaviours. And then we look at the environment as well. And that's where you really need to look at yourself. We're not going to come around and assess all your friends and you know, what you're doing at 6 o'clock in the morning when you get out of bed. You need to look at your environment and you have to be pretty critical about that. Okay, so I want you to obviously re read through this again, watch the video again, try and break that down as much as you can. And obviously if you come in and have a fitness strategy with us for, for private training, then we will do this with you and we'll take you through all of those stages properly. There's a good saying that the fish can't see the water because he's always swimming in it. And that applies to a lot of us where we can't see what state we're in because we're constantly surrounded by it. And sometimes it takes somebody on the outside to have a look at what you're doing and say, look, that's destructive. That's what you're doing there is positive. Keep doing that. 
but we need to get rid of this, you need to be careful kind of hanging out with these people, etc. That's how we develop this get what you want blueprint. So to help you do this, to help get some structure, I want you to do just a little mind game. You can do this whenever you like. The longer you take to do this, the better, because it will let your, your mind kind of open up. Don't rush it, because you'll, start, you'll be writing things down based on just what's at the front of your brain. And often what's at the front of your brain is just stuff that other people have put there. You know, you'll say, oh, well, I can't take six months out of travelling because I heard there was another recession coming, or I heard that everybody's poor these days, and you start seeing the things you don't want to see. But what we're trying to do here is get everything down in black and white because we do believe what we read. So if you can read this every day, every morning, every evening, instead of reading the newspaper, this is the sort of stuff that's going to program your brain and help you get what you want. Essentially, what it is is a big list of all the things you would like to do. We put them in five categories. The first one is adventure. So this could come under holidays. It could come under challenges. Like, for instance, I cycled across America a couple of years ago. Uh, You might want to do that. You might not. Again, Quite honestly, I don't really care. I want to know what you want to do. You don't have to do the same thing as me or anybody else. So what adventures do you want to live out? It might be from a sporting context. It might be something completely different, literally just going on holiday somewhere. That's cool, but get it down. Next one is education. So what are the things you want to learn? What do you want to learn about? Do you want to learn about how you know, how to fight Muay Thai or how to fix a bike. If you need to educate yourself, if you want to cycle across America, you need to know how to fix a bike because believe me, things go wrong. (laughs) Okay, so what education do you want? Might be from a philosophical point of view, you might want to do a particular course. Again, you need to decide, but get it down in black and white. Relationships. How do you want your relationships to look? That can be with people at work, it can be with your, uh, your children, it can be with your parents, anybody at all. What relationships do you want in your life? What relationship do you want from a uh, more from a love point of view? Who you know your actual your partner in life? What what do you want that relationship to be like? Get it down on paper. Legacy. This is a big thing for me these days. Kind of what we're leaving behind. You know, we've all got in this mindset of got to make more money. I've got to buy a house. I've got to have a nice car. I've got to get a bigger house when I've got more money. But then, really, when you leave this earth, what are you actually going to leave behind? Are you just leaving a house behind, which is just going to get sold? Your children might just sell it, they've got more money, but brilliant. But are we just passing money along and never really achieving anything, never really making a difference? So have a think about what you want to leave behind. Do you want to coach people? Do you want to solve the world water problem in the third world? Do you want to solve poverty? Again, I can't tell you what you want to do. Have a think and get it down on paper. And then finally, and there's a reason why this is the last column, then once you understand all of those things, the things that you want to do, things you want to learn, the people you want to meet, what you want to leave behind, you can then start deciding how much money you really need to earn. And often it's nowhere near what we thought we needed to. And once we understand this, let's say for instance, just to make it really simple, you need £30,000 a year to, to live, to spend time with your friends, to do the course you want to do, to go on two or three holidays that you've written in your adventure column. If that's the money you need, then why are we chasing the six-figure jobs? Why are we trying to be millionaires? You know, it doesn't make sense. So a lot of the, when we're doing all the overtime and we're stressed out and we're killing ourselves and it's stopping us from being fit, it's making us eat crappy food, we need to take stock of why we're doing it. Because it's all very well me giving you the best training program, the best nutrition program, but you're not going to do it if you're constantly stressed out and you've got no energy. Because you're working so hard, but you're working hard not because you need to, but because you feel compelled by society to earn six figures or to be top dog. So get all of this down in black and white, and it's going to really open up your mind in terms of what you want to do. It's this the mission part and your identity. Because once you can do this, you can then come to, say, come to us and say, that's what I want to do, that's what I want to do it by, and we'll say, right, great, these are the skills you need, these are the behaviours you need. Becomes a, the process becomes a lot more effective. So just to give you an idea, this is my kind of vision board at the moment. It's always changing. As I notch things off, something else goes on it. So we've got the Muay Thai. We've got I want to learn to scuba dive this year and combine it with uh, a trip I've always wanted to do to, to Bali and to Australia. Bottom left-hand corner, you know, that kind of pretty much sums, sums up what I want for my relationship. Just relaxed, chilled out, just being with the one person I want to be with. 
And then finally, I'm trying to teach myself, trying to learn how to do handstands. Yeah, and for no other reason than I'd just quite like to be able to do one. So you've got to have these little fun things in there as well. So I want you to go away and make a vision board based on the things you wrote in the table. Make this vision board. Physically print these things out. Stick them on a wall. Stick them on a pin board. And look at them every day. It's going to remind you what you're really about. You know, instead of just getting up and going through the motions of brush your teeth, put your clothes on, look in the mirror, tell yourself you're fat, go and eat your crappy breakfast, go to work, stress yourself out. Get yourself out of that zone straight away by looking at the stuff in the morning, reminding yourself who you really are. And then do it in the evening as well. So your, your brain see, your eyes see it, it feeds into your brain before you go to bed. And then your subconscious brain will work overnight. It never really, the subconscious brain never really stops. That's why we have dreams. And then you wake up in the morning and often you'll have answers that you didn't have the night before because your brain's kind of ticked over while you're not stressing yourself out with work. Okay, so get your vision board done. And think very carefully about the goldfish. The goldfishes don't know that the water's dirty. Then one day they die because they're sick. We can tell the water's dirty looking from the outside in. And the first thing we do that when we see the, the water's dirty in the fish tank is we change the water because we know it's bad for the fish and if we leave it much longer, it's going to be in trouble. Okay, so you've got to really start thinking about your environment and changing the water in your tank effectively. And like we said earlier, you've got to think about do you need someone else to look from the outside in? And I believe everybody does. I have my own coach for business. I have someone else who writes my programs. Because I don't want to be doing the things that I feel are okay. I feel the th feel things that I feel fit in, that I can do. Because if I'm always just doing stuff I can do, I'm never going to make progress. You need someone there to give you that friendly kick up the butt and, like I said, look from the, the outside of the fish tank because you cannot see the water you're swimming in. So what I'd like you to do is think very strongly about giving us a call today, give us an email, book in for your fitness strategy session and we will take you through this kind of process. We'll also look at uh, your injury history, your stress levels, all this kind of thing. And once we've got all of these details included with your movement analysis as well, it's then that we can really decide what your program needs to be and give you the blueprint for the skills and capabilities and tell you what behaviours we need as well. But until we can do that, you've got to take responsibility for doing the first parts on that list. Because we can't just say, do this, do that, without knowing the real reasons why you want to do it. And if you just come in and say, oh, I kind of know already, I'll just, I'll just go in. And you come in and say, oh, I want to lose a bit of weight. It's still not going to work because it's not going to inspire you day to day. Okay, so give us a call. The number's on the screen. The email's on the screen. Do that today. Book in for your fitness strategy session. And we're going to start developing these mental processes. So I strongly suggest you can do that for about a week's time, then you've got a week to do the, the other stuff I mentioned in the video. You can actually come in with that stuff and we can use it in the, the fitness strategy session. Okay, thank you for listening. I hope it's been helpful. I hope it's opened up your mind and it's kind of helping you see things a little bit differently. And this will also give you a lot more hope as well. When you start writing things down on paper, it just starts looking a lot more manageable. So thank you for listening to me. My name is John Latoc and hopefully I'll see you at Stormforce Fitness very soon.